What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. If you've ever turned off your PC, how exactly do you get it to turn back on if you're not home? Well, it's actually pretty simple. In this guide, I'll show you how to set up Wake on LAN, which is a little bit more difficult than it sounds on Windows 10 and 11. Why would you want such a thing? Well, if you have a low-powered computer like a Raspberry Pi running on your network or just a laptop, you can install something like this, which I'll show you on my second channel, Troubleshoot Linux, where I'll walk you through setting up this little Wake on LAN interface. Essentially, using this or even an app on your phone, you can send a couple of magic packets to your computer's IP address and wake it up from sleep or even a completely shut down state, which is fantastic. So you can literally shut off your PC or put it to sleep and wake it up when you're on the go, as long as you have another computer or device on the same local network. Heck, you can even wake up your PC to play games from the couch, streaming to your TV, etc. Anyways, the first step to getting anything magical like this to work is getting Wake on LAN to work. There's a couple of prerequisites. There's two things that we need to do. We need to turn on Wake on LAN in your BIOS settings or UEFI settings, and we need to enable it on Windows, whatever operating system you're using, as it sets a little flag somewhere in your computer's memory that tells it to keep the Ethernet turned on. There is a Wake on Wireless LAN, which is another option, although I won't really be covering that here. Essentially, your Ethernet cable through your LAN port will be kept alive, or at least it'll be periodically checked here and there to see if something's trying to wake it up on the network. If it gets the correct passcode or magic ping, then it'll just boot back up. In your BIOS, you'll need to look for something called Wake on LAN, and you'll need to enable it if you see such a thing. However, if you don't, like I didn't on my fancy AOS motherboard, well, you probably still have the option, it's just not exactly named. There's a couple of things that will turn it off explicitly, but sometimes there's no option to explicitly turn it on. It's just on by default, unless these other settings are also turned on. The first thing you should do is check your motherboard's manual. You want to search for something like Wake to see if you have Wake on LAN, or Wow LAN, which will be the Wake on Wireless LAN, or something along those lines. Usually you'll have a page that says turn this on to turn it on. If it's not mentioned at all, like in mine, then there's a little bit more Googling that you'll need to do. I had to turn to Reddit while I was in my BIOS and I came across this post which basically just says, if you have these certain options for my particular AORS or a generic gigabyte motherboard, then you need to make sure ERP is turned off, as well as anything power management related for your Ethernet adapter, such as putting it into a low power state, sleeping, saving power, etc. You want to turn all of those off so that your Ethernet port stays on pretty much no matter what, even when your PC's shut off. Yeah, it'll use a trickle of power, but you kind of need to keep it awake in order to actually receive anything. That's pretty much it. Just that one setting was all I needed to do to make sure that things were working properly and it was on by default. So the only other thing to do is to configure it in your operating system. In this guide, I'll show you how to do it in Windows. First of all, everything you'll need will be in your Ethernet adapter settings. So just hit start, type in network, and you'll be opening the network and sharing center. It's the same name on Windows 10. Inside of here, you should see pretty much exactly the same thing on Windows 10 and 11. Click the change adapter settings up here and you'll see all of the different connections you have to different networks. You'll have your wireless, any virtual adapters, VPNs, etc., and your physical adapter. Mine is a Marvel action, whatever the heck, adapter. This is the Ethernet adapter on the back of my computer. Yours may be something else, whether it's killer, Intel, or something like that. Right-click it and choose Properties. Then inside of this new window, click Configure in the top right, then Yes, if you see anything about that, and you'll see a window like this. Starting off on the very far right tab, Power Management. If you see these options, make sure they're all ticked. So, in order to have Allow This Device to Wake the Computer, I need to turn on Allow the Computer to Turn Off This Device to Save Power. Then I can turn on Allow This Device to Wake the Computer and only allow a magic packet to wake the computer. By ticking all of these boxes, bam, Wake on LAN is technically enabled, though there's a couple more things that we need to do. Yours may look slightly different, you might not even have this Power Management tab, and that's okay. If you have more options here, make sure you just look through them lightly to see exactly what they might do. If you're confused, give it Google as all of these adapters are completely different. Then, heading back to the 
Advanced tab over here, you'll see a bunch of different options. Look for something around the lines of Wake on LAN. If you have a Wake on LAN or Wake something, just make sure it's turned on. In my case, I have a Wake from Power Off state. I'll make sure that this is enabled. A wake on Link, I've set this to Forced, which is the only other option besides Disabled. Wake on Magic Packet, I've set this to Enabled. Wake on Pattern Match, also to Enabled. And Wake on Ping, I've left as Disabled, but you can enable something like this if you wish. I just think other devices may ping it over the network like smart devices and it could end up turning on my PC, so I've left this one off and it seems to work just fine without it. When you hit OK and turn off your PC, it might work, but usually you'll need to scroll through the rest of these options as well to make sure there's no energy efficient Ethernet. If you have this, turn it off. Anything green or anything power saving for your Ethernet, turn that off as well. It's not going to use a huge amount of power. It's not a power hungry CPU or graphics card. It's just a little bit of power to make sure that that port stays alive and you stay communicating with your router as your PC is sleeping or turned off. I'm pretty sure that's everything I needed to change here. Yeah, I think so. All you need to do from here is hit OK and you can close out of this window. That's it. You've now turned on Wake on LAN. But there's still a couple of things that could be in your way. There's different power states that your PC can go into. There's a lighter sleep state, then there's a hibernation state, then there's a power off state, and a you just turned on the power from it being completely off state. And those are all different numbers from S1 through 5, I think it is. Through different states, you'll be able to wake the computer, but some of them you can't. There's a couple of weird things with Windows, and one of them is that fast boot and hibernation need to be turned off. Otherwise, those can stop you from waking from those different states. So, the easiest way to make sure fast boot and hibernation is turned off is to just turn off hibernation. Hit start, type in CMD, and run this as administrator. Then inside of here, just type in power CFG space forward slash hibernate as such and off. That's it. You've now turned off hibernation on your PC and fast boot as well. Alternatively, you could type power CFG space hyphen H or sometimes slash H off and you'll get the same thing. So hyphen H slash H, it's the same thing just with fewer letters. Now that you've done this, if your C drive was a little bit full, you might find that it's actually a lot more empty. So hey, you may have just saved yourself a couple of gigs of drive space. Just a quick note, this is a little bit iffy and somewhat unreliable at best on certain PC configurations. Mine seems to work just fine unless I turn it off completely using the power switch and turn it back on, then waking from LAN doesn't seem to be a thing. In this case, I'd recommend looking through your BIOS for something like an AC restore, which will put it back to the same power state it was at before the power cut, or just then boot on AC restore, so whenever the power turns on, your PC turns on as well. Rather have it on for a little bit longer than it should be, then off when you're nowhere near home. And with that, you're pretty much able to go and test this straight away. If you know how to send a wake on LAN request, then go ahead and test it, put your PC to sleep, or turn it off completely and see if it works. Try sleep first, and if that works, great. Try turning it off completely, just by shutting it down, see if that works, and then try seeing if cutting the power and bringing it back also works, although that's a little bit less likely. Again, you may need to turn on a boot option in the BIOS to turn it on as soon as the power is restored. If you don't already know how to send a wake on LAN request, there's thousands of apps that let you do it from your phone to your laptop, etc. I just searched Wake on LAN on the internet and came across a couple of apps in the Play Store to test it. Heck, one of the apps from way long ago that I had installed called Ping Tools has a Wake on LAN feature, and as long as you put in the correct MAC address, you can tell it to wake up. That's how your device is identified, an IP address and a MAC address. Essentially, your router or routers will just broadcast wake up 16 wake times up. in a row with an identifier next to it, that being your PCs. In order to find out what yours is, hit start, type in CMD once more and open this. A lot of apps and programs allow you to just scan the network to find all of this information, so you may not need to do it manually, but if you do, you can do it in here with the command ipconfig slash all. This will show you everything about every network adapter on your system. Just look for the way that you're connected to the internet or your local network, such as the Ethernet adapter Ethernet in my case, and you'll see your IPv4 address, which is your usual IP address, mine's 192.168.150, and you should also see a physical address, which is your your MAC address.
This is my PC's local MAC address. When you are entering information into these different apps, these are the two pieces of information you'll be asked for. When you turn off your PC, these two options should stay the same, or at the very least your MAC address should stay the same, as it should be unique for most of the devices out there. And that's it. It does require a bit of troubleshooting as it is really finicky to get going, but once it works, it usually works pretty well. But of course, it's not really the most reliable thing as walking up to your PC and turning it on is, sadly. Anyways, hopefully you have better luck than I do and getting it to be super reliable. Mine's okay. If there's anything mission critical you need to have access to, just make sure you have it backed up on the cloud somewhere. Again, if you'd like to see how I set up the web interface for Wake on LAN, you'll find a link to my Linux channel down below that should show you everything you need to know. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.